Anyway, so I seen this picture on Facebook uh, yesterday. <clears throat> it showed a, a screwdriver with a key at the end of it. And it, uh, it basically said, drive it like you stole it. And so, you know, screwdriver, ignition, looks like you stole it. Makes sense. Okay, so I want to show you how to build one of those out of basically the tools that you need. Well, not tools, but an old screwdriver or pretty much really anything. And uh, a key. Some silver solder. This is 10% silver solder. You will need some flux. And here's the flux. This is, you'll need some kind of flux. I use this kind. Yeah. And then you need a good old rig here. You need one of those. Make some far. Alright, since you've seen that, this is basically what I did. You go to Walmart or something, get your key made. And what I did is see if I can show you here. I basically cut it right there. Keys are made of brass. Or at least this one is for the most part. I cut it right there. Okay. And uh, pretty much a Mazda. This is a Mazda key. The uh, These grooves really didn't matter in a Mazda. And it pretty much stopped right there. So what I did is I took the screwdriver. I think I measured about two inches out. And then I cut it off. And then I grooved inside of it with the angle grinder, which I found that the thickness of that angle grinder is very, very close. So, <clears throat> when I grooved it out inside, I grooved it in about an inch, like dead center. And then you just, where you cut the key here, it'll slide inside of that. And so that... For the twisting, it'll still be strong on the twisting. It'll just be butted up on the end of it. Then what you do, you silver solder it. And that's, you need that rig. And uh, you flux around it. You get it hot. No, don't, don't get this hot. You get the steel hot. Let the steel do the talking. Then you just run it over it. And if you didn't, if you don't have any kind of, uh, welder of any kind, I would suggest use that. Something like that. They make one for steel, general purpose or plastic. This will hold it. Especially if you got it grooved and you got the key stuck up in there and you just dab this around it and clean it up when you're done with it. But uh, I'm not really going to show the process of welding it because I already made one. And there it is. Kind of look like butt but it works there it is see I'm wanting that to rust up and kind of match I didn't really have to make it that long should have made it a little bit shorter but it works looks like junk but it holds and uh, now I'll show you what it looks like in the ignition here we have an ignition here we have a screwdriver key shove it up in there oh by the way this key don't fit this truck but if I pull it back a little bit, it will. <laughs> See that? Look at that. Button, button. So, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Hot wire my own truck here. Because this key was made for my bag truck, not my daily. So anyway, there you go. When you go to a show and shove that in there, it looks like you stole it. How about that?